Dante, the Lee Day, Historica, Antiquante. Hey, hey, this is UAP, a.k.a. Douglas. All right, now we're getting started. We're going to talk about configuration and antiquitech, or atmospheric ethereal electricity, a way to describe the confluence of four towers with a dome in the center. Another common configuration would be the two towers with a dome, as seen here in Calcutta. I believe it's Calcutta in India. And as per usual, the towers have these openings in the lanterns, they're called. Inside the lanterns, there's no filament. Oftentimes they'll say it's a lookout tower or a bell tower, but it doesn't have a bell. and nobody's looking out from it. Here's the Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia. We have the red and the white indicative of a power station. You have the dome in the center with the gold or c copper. It could be conductive copper, but this time it's gold. Now, I've talked about the number of bricks. And so just to give some perspective of the seeming rarity of this uh, architectural types that are being discussed here, though they're found all over the world, there aren't tremendously numerous examples, or it's not a given that it would be found in any particular area, but you must understand the number of bricks, the number of destroyed structures is so immense. It almost can't be counted. I think the number of bricks, I keep saying this, is in the number of a trillion or much more in the world of the number of bricks that are made or that remain, whether intact or slightly broken. There are crumbled bricks everywhere, infused bricks, melted bricks. And the structures, the mechanisms that are not shown are actually shown, they're just not recognized. Now, they make everything into either a temple or a tomb. They don't talk about power stations, they don't talk about factories or workshops where things were made, but they were made in places. Here's an example. This place, it looks like a kind of workshop or a place where architecture is being fabricated or manufactured. Now that to me looks like a conveyor belt. It is turned to stone. But how that process occurred is something for another time of speculation. But these photos are extremely old. These are late 19th century photos, late 1800s. But that, to me, looks like a conveyor belt. At least it was. Now, the octagon. We find a lot is used in these buildings like a... Well, it's, it's a, just an architectural form... But in the center of these octagonal domed structures, they always have something making it off limits, like this Foucault pendulum. It, it, something to keep people out of there because of the energy that's felt. When you're inside the middle of that configuration, there is a, an energy. Now, speaking of energy, is it measurable? Well, yeah. Is it because he's in the middle of the dome? Or is it because he's approaching this relic? Maybe it takes both. 
maybe it takes that conductivity, but it does read on an electromagnetic spectral meter when you approach and position yourself in certain places there. It's undeniable. Now, it can be physically felt according to many people who have done that. I have been in some places where I'd hoped to stand in that spot, but invariably they have something preventing you from standing there. Other times they have these glorious chandeliers that perhaps were original to the building that absorbed the energy and turn it into light. Like, perhaps similar to an electric arc lamp, although I think they wouldn't have produced that kind of ozone indoors but nevertheless somehow it illuminated what it wasn't candles i don't think they used candles like that or maybe a different type of candle that functioned almost like a, a filament you'd have to pull a vacuum so as to not have too much combustion but we don't know every possibility of the technology the octagonal form is sometimes represented or embodied in a kind of subtle way. It can be slightly different. It could be septagonal or even hexagonal or circular in some cases. Now this I found very interesting. If you look at this domes here, they kind of look like the Vimanas. Now on the other side of the world, from India, well, still in Asia, but very far away, you have this church and there's a painting here. And if you look closely at this painting, you see these glorious beings. We think we know who they represent, but what they're doing here seems to be moving these kind of onion dome type structures or perhaps vimanas are they moving them in, through the air by some kind of unseen force well could that be how such a building as this would be constructed certainly the people in the foreground struggling to 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 keep their cows alive so they can milk them and and make like some yogurt or something like that to eat. They're not building or even maintaining the structure. And the similarity I find to be remarkable. Again, of course, it would occur, would have occurred, I think, during the millennial reign of the Messiah, a thousand year period covered up by history or well history <laughs> covered up by the fake history that we learn the real history is hard to find and seems to be implausible allegorical or set in the future it's tied in with religion and it's something that they say, oh, it requires so much faith. But does it really, if you can use your eyes and see things for what they are? What's it showing you? What's it telling you? You have to open your mind. Open it! <laughs> and what will you find? Well, you may find some answers to things that were difficult to answer. In fact, even just initially opening your mind, you start to question and wonder how things could be the way they are. And it's important to do this, especially with everything going on. It's very clear that the real past is not only being hidden, but it's also being destroyed. It's being remade into a different image. 
but it's everywhere. The Taj Mahal has this configuration and we had already determined it had to do with atmospheric electricity, but check this out when you look at witches, the story about witches and witch trials is bogus, but take a look at this. The thing is how the authorities lie about everything. Either the witch trial things never happened or the witch trials were a thing, but the ones in control were the witches. Which witch is which? We are witches and glad to be. Okay. Now take a look at this. It's lighting up the railing along the side. Okay, it's slowed down a little bit, but see, that's what we had thought for quite a while now. Those little lanterns that go along the sides of the buildings, or, um, you know, the top edge, and, and those gates or metal, la like, kind of lattice work. It's not to keep people from falling off. It might be to keep ice from sliding off, but it had another function. I think it would light up. And they had wires and cables that went to it. And some of those metal fixtures are still there in various forms. Now this building's obviously been remodeled. A lot of stuff gets covered up. Oftentimes you find melted bricks that are plastered over to make it look symmetrical. And I was looking at this roof this is so complicated as somebody who's done a little bit of construction just remodeling myself this is a nightmare to to do these angles and to do this all together this way just even with all the power tools and advantages of looking things up i mean maybe my craftsmanship skills are just aren't that great i mean i know they're they're mediocre at best but the amount of at least I know enough to say that this isn't easy <laughs> this is not something very planned out to be easy or or even planned out it, it, it had to have some kind of extreme function and it's been kind of bastardized like this somewhat bastardized here and so on the inside it may work its way down to that sometimes they minim minimize the number of sides the spiral thing I find to be kind of odd, but you see these metal rods going across, and I think they're there for various reasons. They just had like iron, kind of, not really wires, sometimes just like iron bars, like thin bars running along these architectural features. Now that's the channel that this comes from, it's Russian, I wouldn't even be able to pronounce the name of it if I tried. But I uh, just want to credit them. Now this guy, he's going through this building. Now look at this. It's melted, clearly. See how it turns black. If you use sunlight to melt a brick, it pops off from the moisture retained in the brick. But then when it melts, it does turn to this black kind of obsidian kind of glass materials and the bricks can fuse together and that they, they sometimes ash like kind of get an ashen appearance or layer the mortar kind of uh, disintegrates almost vaporizes in the extreme heat and the bricks can fuse and they can bend there are various different ways that they melt now I find it interesting that a lot of the structures that remain happen to be these ones with the red and the white color configurations, which indicates a power station. So maybe they had some protective measures against electrical over overages or surges of extremes. Now, whatever happened may have been far beyond anything they could have ever imagined planning for yet. 
the protect the protections maybe they had some german engineering in there and the protections in place made it so that they were insulated from these surges and they were able to withstand it to the point that they didn't completely melt like other buildings or disintegrate or explode or just turn to ash There's definitely signs remaining of that kind of fervent heat, as is spoken of in the Bible. Now, I wanted to cover this as a positive way to end the video, I'm trying to do things a little more positive here. But <laughs> even this, it kind of comes from mainstream, and it's like lowering the bar. So I'm not even sure I want to do that, because when you're being ripped off, they like it if you have a positive attitude about being <laughs> violated you know it's like no it, it seems like it's put out there for a reason like everything and, and you know what even that I'm not gonna let it get me down I'm not gonna let it get me down but I'm gonna recognize it for what it is I didn't realize how complicated all of this was and I recognize you for who you are thank you for being here and we'll catch you next time good evening Sam Sam Play our song. Just one more time. Of course. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch, oh witch, the wicked witch. Ding dong, the witch uh, is Sam, dead. Sam, Sam, uh, that's enough. Play, uh, play the other one, please.